August of 2020. Hurricane Laura rapidly intensified to a Category 4 storm before striking southwestern Louisiana. About a year later, in August of 2021, Hurricane Ida would do a similar thing, striking southeastern Louisiana this time as a 150 mile per hour Category 4. These are just two examples of the activity we've seen over the past two years, and it has been record-breaking. In April of 2022, early forecasts came out, and it looked like we were in for another historic hurricane season. We also wondered, will the Gulf Coast finally get a break, among other areas, across the basin? This is the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season. is areas under a hurricane warning, meaning hurricane conditions are expected. The blue area here, tropical storm warning. So tropical storm conditions are expected. And for you here in Canada, you really gotta wrap up your preparation by sundown today. So if you're, call if you're watching us from Canada, uh, please go ahead and wrap your preparations uh, soon. And, and considering how strong this storm has been up until a very short time until reaching Canada by that point, um, I, I think it still is a massive contender for possibly one of the worst storms for the region. And that's why you see here on our, our forecast, um, I've been around for a long time, these are big numbers. I haven't seen numbers like this many times in my career. 12 to 18 feet in and around the uh, Charlotte Harbor area. Um, just a 
very devastating event starting to unfold, unfortunately, for the residents of South, Southwest Florida. Good morning, this is Force 13 Live and we're currently tracking Hurricane Ian, which is set to make a catastrophic landfall on the southwestern part of Florida. We're probably looking at a landfall in Lee or Charlotte counties, uh, possibly both with its large eye after that eye wall replacement cycle last night it went on to strengthen substantially and is now up to 155 miles per hour and a pressure of 937 millimeters.